what's up, I'm Nizio Cole, and I know this isn't gonna be the normal type of video that I do on my channel, but I wanted to talk about something that's very, very important to me. So I don't know if you know this or not, but recently, Modern Warfare 2, the second Modern Warfare 2, was released, well, at least the campaign was, I think the, uh, the multiplayer is coming out tonight. And there's been a lot of hype, you know, because the original Modern Warfare 2 that came out like 10 years ago, that one was super popular, as well as the rebooted Modern Warfare that came out in 2019. I actually enjoyed that one quite a bit. So I bought Modern Warfare 2 and I started playing it and the campaign has actually been really fun. Now I want you to imagine something right now. Well, actually you don't have to imagine because I have gameplay for you. Imagine you're playing, you're playing this mission, you're shooting people, you're, you're getting kills, you're, you're having fun, right? And then this happens. Oh, what's this? Disconnected from Steam? Okay, maybe I can just close the... No. So, basically what just happened here is my internet disconnected and I re-recorded this and just pulled my ethernet because this happened like a few days ago. And it just forces you to close the game. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I'm very anti-DRM. What is DRM? DRM is digital rights management. So basically anti-piracy. Your internet could cut out for a quarter of a second and it'll just boot you from the game. The single player campaign of Modern Warfare 2, it kicks you out of the game. It forces you to close the game because your internet cut out for half a second. It's just so incredibly jarring, especially for a single player game. There is no reason that this needs to exist at all. And there's different levels to it. Like I, I, uh, I criticized Just Cause 4 when it was coming out with the Nuvo and it still has its issues, but at least it doesn't kick you out of the game. It requires you to be connected to Steam when you launch the game. But if you disconnect your internet after that, it's fine. And the thing is, my internet is actually pretty good. The reason it disconnected was because my internet just disconnects kind of randomly when it's like 1 to 3 a.m. I think that's when they're doing like maintenance or something. But I can just imagine people that live in rural areas that have terrible internet who, what, they're just, they just can't play the game now, Activision? No other single player game in my library does this. This is completely new to me and it's, it's crazy. You know, DRM is kind of like airport security. You know, they make a big deal out of everything and they cause a huge inconvenience to normal people in an attempt to try and catch malicious people and they fail. They fail so hard at doing it. Like I remember uh, there was that one study that said the TSA didn't detect anything like like they only detected like a small percentage of bad things trying to go through the airport. It, it reminds me of that story of Just Cause 4 getting cracked in like three days or Watch Dogs Legion getting cracked or, or whatever game. You're spending so much effort to try and discourage pirates that pirating actually becomes the better way to play the game. There was a day, I think it was last year or the year before, where Denuvo servers were down, so people just straight up couldn't play their single player games. This is how I will always feel about this type of DRM. I hated it in 2018, I hate it now, and I will always hate it. And I will always fight back against it, because this is ridiculous. Let people play the games that they pay 70 bucks for. But that's all I have for today. So uh, let me know what you think about this whole Call of Duty DRM situation down in the comment section below. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.